You've probably seen it by now, everybody's talking about the most watched Netflix TV show of all time, The Squid Game. Don't worry, I won't spoil it for you, as I still haven't finished it yet, but one thing that really stood out to me in this show is the architecture behind it and the way scene sets are created and shot. Maybe the most memorable scene set is the staircase that looks like a vertical maze or a labyrinth where all the players need to pass to go to their next game. This set was inspired by the famous relativity linograph by M.C. Escher, and we can clearly see here the similarities, but of course the scene in the show is much more colorful. However, there's another project that is very, very similar to the staircase set, and there's a public debate online if this project was also used as an inspiration piece for the TV show, but we don't have any official info from the producer of the Squid Game. This project is called the Muralla Roja, or in English, the Red Wall, designed by Ricardo Boefeld, built in 1973, and it is a housing project located on the Spanish coast in the town of Calp. The whole building looks like some sort of a mixture between a maze and a fortress. It's an apartment complex, and it is interesting that we have a couple of other functions integrated in one. For example, the roof of the red wall has a solarium, sauna, and a swimming pool, which means that the residents of the complex can also use these facilities. I really like the combination of the color and its role in this project. For example, the red color indicates the apartment area, while the blue color indicates the common space for all the residents. It is also interesting how the building integrates with its surroundings, water, sky, simply beautiful. So, what do you think? Do you think that this project inspired the creators of the Squid Game? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And now, imagine that you have the ability to recreate some of these scenes yourself, uh, just like I recreated this one. I'm going to quickly showcase how to do just that in Rhino and V-Ray, and we're going to pick this scene as it is really similar to what we can see in the show. The idea behind this scene is quite simple. We would use some base plan drawings that are available online and we would reference a lot of details from the main image. The approach that I chose here was to first create some sort of a CAD plan that I can use to create 3D geometry later on. Uh, creating this 2D plan in the top view was the initial step and once I had something to work with in 2D, then I started creating lines in perspective mode and extruding them to make the initial surfaces. Once I had all the surfaces, I was thinking of what would be the easiest way to create the handrail and I simply duplicated edges from the surfaces, brought them up by 110 centimeters, then extruded them downwards and placed all the points in the same Z level. Then I simply extruded those surfaces 15 centimeters and this is how I created all these handrails. Later on, I realized that the last level is not completely flat, so I had to cut the object using a simple plane, and then I had to modify those details. This was my mistake, as I didn't notice the details right away, but that's why I'm showing you this, so you don't have to make the same mistake uh, when you recreate the scene. After all the handrails, I was putting the finishing touches on the surrounding geometry and adding a little bit of details, like passages, window frames, and window details. Once the geometry was done, I took some time to adjust the angle and try to get as close as possible to the real image. It wasn't perfect because I didn't know the exact lens length uh, of the image, but it was close enough for our shot. Then it was the time to jump into V-Ray. Here, I chose a couple of pre-made materials from V-Ray library and I tried to best guess the color of the red wall. Additionally, I chose some concrete material for the stairs and ground surfaces and one really important thing here is to remember that uh, you have to put the correct texture mapping onto your object so the material would look good and precise. In this case, I used box mapping for everything with two values of 2 meters uh, for the stairs and 0.5 meters for the walls. Then came the lighting setup. Here I used the dome light with an HDRI that has some sort of overcast image. However, since our reference image had some highlights and shadows, I decided to add a directional V-Ray sun in addition to all of that so that I could control the direction of the sun and shadows. Uh, that was it. Once I made the shadows soft enough, I rendered them uh, with V-Ray and went to Photoshop to make some final color corrections and adjustments and we're done. That's how you can create pretty much any scene from this project. If you're interested to watch the long form of this tutorial, which is around one hour long, uh, where I explain in great detail every single step of the way. It is available on our Patreon page and if you join us there you will get access to all of our extended tutorials and project files. The links are below this video. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye. 
This product is called La Muraja Roja. La Muraja. <laughs> this product is called La Muraja Roja. La Muraja. 